Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I help college going students, university going students to get onto their property ladder to save for their marriage. And if you're a young adult, maybe to pay off that mortgage. I think I might have to change my uh, start line because I just saw this comment, whoever Nick1409 is, thank you very much. You're helping the retired too. Honestly guys, it's never late in your life to make money. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is totally for entertainment purposes only. This is all chicken shit. <laughs> I, do, I do the research. I have not monetized the channel. I don't do any paid promotions. So there's nothing to lose. Just smash that like button and subscribe. It will help the channel. I'm only your weekend YouTuber. The YouTube algorithm uh, doesn't like me, which is okay. I don't care. <laughs> Everyone is talking about the fear and greed index. Everyone is talking about whether we are into a bear market, whether we are into a bull market. I'm just going to do quick uh, discussion about it and then and I will tell you my views and then I'll give you five uh, gems to buy before this market goes parabolic again. I'm drinking San Miguel today. There's nothing outside <laughs> in the weather that tells you about Spanish beer, but you know what, I am in Derry, London Derry, in Northern Ireland. It's cold, it's rainy, it's winter, but hey ho, let's assume it's summer. Cheers. Actually, when I set all of this up, Bitcoin was below 50. And by the time I have finished setting things up, it's already crossed 50,244. If you look at the previous uh, bull markets, what's happening is you're getting the lengthening bull market. And as a corollary, what's going to happen is you'll have a shortened bear market. I started crypto in 2017. And when the soul checks IDO happened, the amount of tokens it has, the amount of launch pads, the amount of money they generated, I felt as if there is something is not right. So I parked my money into USDT. It was a good decision because immediately afterwards there was a big correction. So the 200 day exponential moving average was breached. So the price of the Bitcoin went below it. And whenever that happens, you can expect a bear market to start. However, this traditional analysis, which many, many YouTubers, including myself too, they don't factor in the changing technology landscape. In 2017, we did not had massive NFT craze. In 2017, we did not had massive play to earn gaming in 2017, we did not have any futures ETF. Now, okay, don't get me wrong. Futures ETF are piece of shit, but it was a good milestone for Bitcoin. Okay. Yes, there is a setback in terms of spot ETFs. What we really need in Bitcoin space is the spot ETF. In 2017, there were not big institutional adoption. Now what is happening is institutional adoption. You have likes of scare, micro strategy, even the recent announcement by WhatsApp. They are doing a trial in the US with the US citizens that they will be able to send money, stable coins in cryptocurrency. Now, who owns WhatsApp? Meta, a car Facebook. I will not be surprised if Facebook is sitting on some good pile of cryptocurrencies. And what they're going to buy? They're going to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum and the top tier cryptocurrencies. They're not going <laughs> to YOLO on the coins that we retail investors YOLO on. Similarly, Apple is sitting on piles and piles and piles of cash. How long will it take for them to realize that the biggest hedge against protecting that cash reserve is actually Bitcoin and Ethereum and the top tier cryptocurrencies? I'm not going to bore you with any chart analysis, but if you, you can draw a trend line either showing it's going up or you can draw a trend line to show either it's going down. If you're really interested, there is a guy called Ben Cohen. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to his channel. He's absolutely fantastic. If you're really keen on looking daily chart analysis, you should follow his channel. What was a danger sign was even with the bearish trend in a bullish market, it was still making higher lows. However, it did breach that and that usually signals bear market. Now, not in current scenario because of all the factors I have told you. The amount of institutional adoption. Play to earn video games. They need cryptocurrency. NFT markets, whether it's on Ethereum with all the gas fees. By the way, I'm wearing this uh, Rebel Society uh, t-shirt today. I hold these two NFTs not to flip, not to earn any money, but just for the sake of art. And I love the team. So it was ridiculous to buy this NFT. I had to pay about $200 as gas fees. Absolutely unacceptable. However, OpenSea is contributing to a large percentage of uh, Ethereum burnt. ETH 2.0 is not that far. Let's say if you want to reach destination A to B, there are several motorways now. Previously, it was only Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now Cardano is there. Solana is there. 
Polkadot is there. They are highways. You can travel from A to B on any different uh, blockchain. Interoperability is a new buzzword here. I don't think we have entered into a bear market. I think this is again just a bearish trend in a bullish market. All right, moving on to the five altcoin gems that will explode if the Bitcoin uh, enters into parabolic run. Number one is the Lot Survivor. This was an idea that happened recently. However, there were two venture capitalists who actually dumped millions of tokens at point two two, and that caused it to crash however it's a really good game this is a quick fire round so I'm not gonna do any due diligence I'm just gonna tell you my picks I'm not a financial advisor these videos are for entertainment purposes only decision to invest is yours and yours only it is at a dumpster price at the moment so the high was 0.22 and it's sitting at 0.06 at the moment pretty close to the IDO price it's a really good game I have went onto their website I think there is an easy upside potential here altcoin gem number two is Polkadot I was buying into Polkadot when it was $50 uh, I have been buying in since it was $20 it's sitting again in my mind at a dumpster price levels which is $29 remember guys poker auctions options are ongoing Kusama where Kusama is Kusama is a clone of uh, dot okay if Kusama is in high 200s 300s 400s that's where dot is heading number one number two look at where moon river is that's where moonbeam is heading so poker dot blockchain is leasing out its parachains or side chains to these projects so they will leverage the security and the scalability and at the same time offer you DeFi projects for example uh, one of them uh, which i have made previously video and i do is delayed is called mintrust you can watch uh, i will leave a link in the description about the video i made on mintrust i do has been delayed to january so there is still chance for you to participate just see where moon river is that's where Moonbeam will be. The, the gems, hidden gems are underneath those ecosystems. Next altcoin gem that is at uh, dumpster levels is Thetan Arena. No due diligence again, but it reached more than $20 and it's sitting at 11.89 for no fault other than the fact that Bitcoin had a poo and... <laughs> <laughs> and everything else suffered because of that altcoin gem number four is gem guardian again sitting at dumpster levels at the moment of 0.52 they have really good apr ap wise it, it reached 0.3 at the moment i had a chance to sell i didn't because i do believe this game has huge potential last project that has not even launched yet is world of d fish again you can go on to the linkedin you can go on join the telegram and twitter so they will have a play to earn uh, video game they will also have an nft marketplace the whole website looks amazing they say that the telegram uh, generation event will be in q4 2021 we are in q4 2021 there's not many days left so i'm hoping that this will launch towards the end of the month and i will not be missing the chance to get into this project if you like the video smash that like button subscribe and i'll see you in next video